Howdy do everybody, it is Frugal Foogie and today we're playing Beast Crimes. Let's get started. Okay, so let's let's start with Neo Tokyo. What the everlasting escape. But there's a lot in this game, oh. Okay. God damn. Ah, who's there? Don't be afraid. Of what? I am here. What? Who is he? Yo! He's kind of creepy, man. To liberate me? What? Why am I oppressed? What am I oppressed from? Oh. Huh. Where am I? Welcome, new visitor, to Hotel GU. Which means freedom in Japanese or. You know, something like that. This is a place for people with low rank to climb up in the social hierarchy. The social hierarchy. Please read the hotel's pamphlet for information. There's an AR device lying next to me. Welcome, I'm AI, your health assistant. It is your first time visiting Hotel GU. We'll show you an introduction video. Over 700, huh? 700 million years ago, the first animals were brought to life here on Earth. Since then, both the Earth and the animals have evolved in many ways and many shapes. One significant point in the evolution was when apes began to walk on two legs and develop a higher form of intelligence. This high-functioning species of apes called themselves humans. Several thousand years later, more animals evolved and gained similar features. Okay. So, in a world of... Unfortunately, the ape virus Omega bringing an end to the human species. To avoid a similar fate, research was made on artificial organ replacement and technology. Today, more than 95% of the population is what we call cyborg, an animal that consists of both biological and artificial body parts. We live in a weird futuristic world. However, due to ethical laws, an animal cannot have a body that is more than 70% artificial. So still, one of the biggest threats to society is defective animals. So what can we do to prevent this to happen? I don't know, man. Educate young people is the answer. Okay. Hotel GU is one of the world's first research labs to try a new kind of behavior experiments on living beings. This can't be real. What? Social status rank. This is your social status profile. Seiko Setsuna. They, them. Whatever. Four intelligence, two engineering, zero friends. Is that what that is? That is sad. This is my social profile. What do I... Oh. How good you're at each skill will increase or limit the various options you will have to solve the upcoming trials. During the day after tomorrow, we'll have an evaluation to see who will be of most use for this society. Please enjoy your visit. Okay, but what? Exit. Where am I? What? Okay, let's search. Some sort of transceiver, should I take it? Yeah, take it. Transceiver added to inventory. Soft cushion slept well despite the situations. Okay. Is there anything else? Cushions, yeah, that's it. Let's check whatever this is. Okay, that's my social ranking. Okay. Let's leave. What am I what am I viewing? Is this is my house? Oh that's my house, okay. Okay, we got a view. Let's go. Let's leave. Let's go to the auditorium, see what's there. Oh my god. It's the picture. It's the person who kidnapped me. What reason do they have to be in this weird place? Sandwich. Take the sandwich, man. Now we're at it. Yeah, I don't know what is happening. Let's take a seat. Welcome, everyone. On one moment, I will put on the voice tuner. What? The topic is about individualism versus collectivism. What do you think is the best culture for society? Please use the voting buttons. I guess collectivism, if everyone works together, we can solve problems. 
According to the result, most of you answered collectiv collectivism. Okay. What's next? I see you all will become useful cogwheels in society's machinery compared to the self-centered individualist culture. Collectivism is about prioritizing group cohesion over individual pursuits. These people are proven to have more stability in, in the society and have more accomplishment of collective goals. Like, as long as everyone's happy, I don't think there's an issue, you know? Like, of the specific one. Well, now watch a documentary and then continue to discuss this topic. What documentary? That's it. Oh, afternoon. Okay, I went to the audit. Wait, what if I go again? Shit. Welcome. Oh, second lecture. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Topics about democracy versus technocracy. What do you think is the best way to rule society? Please use a. What's technocracy? I'll vote for that, man. Tell me what it is. Most have answered technocracy. Okay. I see you all have the right mindset to become useful in today's society. Technocracy is the government where policymakers are appointed based on their technical skills or proven performance, which in our society is the social ranking system. That's how ordinary people get jobs these days, by skills and hard work. It's obvious that the best people suited for a job should also get it, not how much money they waste on PR. Yeah. I don't... I'm not smart enough to get the difference, man. I just think... You just gotta be happy, bro. Just be happy. We'll now continue to discuss more about how society is ruled. Okay. I'm just going to, it's evening, but I want to go to class. Should I keep doing that? Dude, teach me more, man. Take a seat. Welcome to the third lecture, Socialism versus Capitalism. What do you think is the best economic s system? Um... Here's the deal, right? Both on paper are good. <laughs> but both have issues. <laughs> In practice. Uh, social. Social, we should care about the people, right? According to the result, most of you have answered socialism. I see you will all have a bright future. Compared to the self-owned capitalistic culture, socialism is an economic theory which advocates the means of production, distribution, exchange should be owned and regulated by the government. The government decides that what's best for the society instead of thinking how to make the most profit. Watch a documentary and then continue to discuss the topic. Okay. Alright, it's late. I should get some sleep. Okay. That was my day. I'm scared. Will I get away from this place? I don't know. Will I? If I do, where should I go? Is there any place for me in this world? Was my existence never wanted by anyone? Not even my parents? Where am I? Am I in like a re-education institute? Um, okay, let's just go. Actually, 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 actually. Did my card change at all? I got smarter. Let's go. Oh, these each trains like a skill. Let's go to the lobby then. We have zero friendship points. I gotta get friendly. Um, let's talk to the raccoon. Who may you be? Ah, my name is Seiko. Ray Yakumo, at your service. Do you know where we are? I apologize, I have no information about that. Ah, it's okay. Sorry for asking, but are you perhaps an orphan? How did you... The rest of the companies have all stated their orphans. MX Ray? Who's MX Ray? Oh, I see. Okay. Um. So that's that's a little bit of knowledge. You talk to Raccoon. Let's talk to the Froggy. Hey, yeah. Uh, what's your name? My name is Seiko. I'm Asahi. Like the like the beer. <laughs> Do we know where we are? Hmm. Probably not that far from Neo Tokyo. I see. Are you two a kidnapped orphan? How did you? Well, the rest of us are. Why are, why are they doing this to us? Because we just happen to be chosen. It's unfair. Okay. I still don't know what's happening to us. All I can guess is we're all just like stranded on this random hotel. Let's talk to Bear Boy. 
What's up? Ah, oh, my name is Seiko. You can call me Jun. Do you know where we are? Nah, not a clue. Okay, Jun. You are really good at talking. So you're also a kidnapped orphan. How did you? Did everyone only ever? Okay, my guy needs to stop being so surprised. We already talked to two people that talked about it. All of the others are so... Why are they doing this to us? To improve society, that's what they say at least. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Right, it's late. I should get some sleep. Okay, let's sleep. Another night here. Will I survive or will I die? Even if I survive, what sort of life will I have? I will always be a low ranker no matter what I do. What's the purpose for me to exist? Dude, I'm just hoping I don't get jump scared. Good morning, everyone. It's time for an evaluation. Please take the elevator to B1. Okay. We in the elevator. Welcome to the first evaluation. We're going to give you a task to solve. In front of you, there's a door to leave this room. After you enter this room, we lock the door with a four-number combination. All of you will be given a note with each number. There's some rules to follow. One, you're not allowed to consciously show the note to each other. Two, you're not allowed to consciously tell another person your number. Three, only three of you will be able to leave this room. Four, the person who solves the password will decide which one of you to sacrifice. Five, the password of the combo of the number is zero to nine. And the highest numbers go from left to right. You only get one chance. Good luck. What? Okay, so I gotta figure out the code. Chat with me, buddy. If I manage to solve the password, I promise not to sacrifice you. Thanks. That's it? Okay, I guess you're safe, bear guy. Let's see, raccoon. What's up? If I manage to solve the- I will not sacrifice you, I'm grateful. You know what? Don't sacrifice anyone. No, wait, I wanted to be, be the sacrifice. No. What the heck? Oh well. Looks like Froggy dies. It is what it is. The number on my nose is 9. Tell me your- Tell me your number. What? How do I- how do I figure out the moment? Wrong password. Oh shit! I'm dead? The end. What? 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 Damn, that was... What was that? That was Neo Tokyo Everlasting Escape. Oh my gosh. Let me just check the journal real quick. What is it? Here's just the information on, on the Everlasting Escape. Okay. Well, I guess that does that. Thank you so much for watching. This was Beast Crimes Part 1. We are going to play through each individual level. We'll just make each level a video, keep it nice and quick. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll make sure to drink water, stay hydrated, but most importantly, remember to have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.